Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the seventh tutorial in the series of tutorials on shell programming. In this tutorial, we'll first check out the cp command. cp is used to copy files from one location to the other. And what I mean by that is, let me first create a file. I'll uh, use touch to create a file called uh, uh, old. Let's call this old and if I press enter then my file is created and I can show it to you guys in the home folder right here now if suppose I want to copy this file old from uh, the home folder to the music folder which is uh, currently okay this has this file random I'll delete it so that we don't cause any confusion but uh, the music folder as you can see now is empty and what I wish to do is I wish to copy this file from uh, this location to uh, the home folder sorry the music folder now the command to do that is I'll type in cp first and then type in the name of my file which is old and then I'll type in the address now I'll first have to type in music since that is the directory in which I want to create a copy and then I'll put in the slash and then I'll type in a name for my file and in the music folder we'll call it old underscore music and if I now type in sorry press enter then uh, a copy would have been created and we can see inside the music folder that I have my file old underscore music now CP is different from MV don't confuse the two commands MV when you rename a file uh, another copy of a file is not created so if I would have used MV here uh, instead of CP then uh, this file wouldn't have existed here instead uh, another file of the name old underscore music would have existed in the music folder and this file would have been erased so that's there that's the difference between mv and cp uh, i don't think i have to elaborate further on that now the next thing that we're going to check out is uh, the concept of links now what are links links can be of two kinds uh, the first is the soft kind and the second is the hard kind well literally <laughs> and um, what I mean is if you execute firstly to create a link the command that you use is ln so if I type in ln and uh, provide a file name let's say I want to create a link for my file old and if I type in new here and press enter then I can see in my home folder I have one file old and another file new now both these files are currently blank I can show it to you guys see old doesn't have any text and uh, new doesn't have any text either right but if suppose I type in some text in old like uh, you know anything some random stuff hey what's up and if I save it then the same thing will also be present in my new file since it is a hard link to my old file you see earlier new didn't have any text it was just a link for old but now when I have uh, put in text in old and saved the file I also have the same text in new so new here is acting as a replica to my old file whatever changes I make to old will be reflected in new uh, another kind of link that we can have is soft link now in order to create a soft link you'll have to use ln but this time with hyphen s option and I'll have to as I did earlier provide the name of my file if suppose I want to create a soft link for old I can call this one old underscore soft and if I press enter I can see that in my home folder I have this file old underscore soft and it's a soft link and you know you can see that the icon is slightly different from the icon of new which is a hard link now if I delete the old file right then the two links remain new as well as old underscore soft now new will remain intact nothing would happen to it it won't be damaged because it was hard link and it's basically a replica for my file but old underscore soft since it is a soft link if I try to open it the system tells me that the link cannot be used because its target old doesn't exist and it's broken so I'll have to move it to trash so there you go that's the difference between soft and hard link a hard link is nothing but a copy of a file or if you've created a link to a directory then a hard link is a copy of a directory 
and it will occupy the same space as the uh, root directory or root file whereas a soft link is nothing but a pointer or a reference that the system uses to you know point to the address of the original file or directory so uh, links will um, prove to be very handy as we move along the course for now that's it that's all I wanted to talk about uh, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial we'll be checking out another really very important command the ls command so stick with me and thank you for watching this one subscribe to my channel uh, that's it